Hey there Raider fans, this is the Road to the Freak, and this is your Raiders draft results and recap, or at least my opinion from what I think. Now if you look to your left, I have, I'll have i have all the names on there, and then some of them have some YouTube highlights on there for each of the drafts. Not all of them do, but some will. I'll go through the names and explain what I think about them. So we hit national headlines on ESPN and Yahoo Sports about drafting Darius Hayward Bay in front of Michael Crabtree and Jeremy Macklin. I knew this was going to happen because the Raiders love speed, and that's all we ever think of is speed. This guy runs a 4.23 uh, 40-yard dash, and he's fast, and supposedly he cannot catch. Hopefully if we train this guy how to catch, or teach him how to catch, he could be as electrifying as Larry Fitzgerald. You never, I mean, he does have better height. I mean, I, I really thought we would have drafted Ramsey's Barden, as I said in my last video. So, I... You know, I'm mixed. I'm not sure what to think. about. This includes all draft picks. Anything can happen on the field, all right? This is just a draft. Don't say we're going to be losers immediately until we do start losing. Okay, second, it's Michael Mitchell. We traded down with New England. Michael Mitchell is a safety from Ohio, and, it, and DH, Darius Hayward Bay is from Maryland. But Michael Mitchell was a strong, was a safety, and he, he has the hard-hitting abilities, I think, the Raiders like some guys. Once again, he has speed with a 4.4, uh, 4.440, and he, he can actually hit hard. I guess his awareness is okay, and that's what they like. The Chicago Bears were interested in him, actually, in the second round, and he could have been drafted two spots later by the Bears. So, don't say that he's a no-name guy that no one would have wanted, and he would have gone and drafted, because the Bears were interested. Lovey Smith, I know, he loves defense. Third, we got Matt Shaughnessy, and just like Michael Mitchell was, we had to fill a need. We needed a safety because Michael Huff can't do it alone, and that's also we, we got this Matt Shaughnessy from Wisconsin. He's a defensive end, and we had one of the worst rushing defenses out there, and I, I was hoping we would have drafted a defensive lineman during the, the second round, but at least we got one. We could train this guy. I hope, hope he does well. If you're a Wisconsin fan, you might need to help me out here because I don't know him. Fourth, we got Lewis Murphy after trading down a little bit. Lewis Murphy was the like, third or second best receiver on the Gators behind Percy Harvin. I know that he definitely showed leadership, and he was a comeback kid. I give that guy a lot of effort for what he's done at, at University of Florida. Hopefully, he'll become a very solid player, and he's the insurance if Hayward Bay can be a bust. And also in the fourth round, because we traded down with Miami, we took Miami's later uh, fourth round pick, and they took up, took ours. We ended up with Slade Morris from Oregon State, uh, inside linebacker. I'm not exactly sure the logic behind this pick. I mean, Morris didn't exactly play the mo most. Uh, he did all right, but I'm not sure the actual logic. Maybe someone needs to help. Tom, he could go okay, I guess, with Thomas Howard and Kirk Morrison. He could be that third guy. We might not have a third linebacker. And then in the sixth round, we got Strike Sulek, a defensive end from Missouri. I know Missouri fans definitely are looking forward, or hope, hoping to look forward to this guy. I think uh, he should be okay, because once again, we drafted for need, and we do need some defensive ends after that really terrible running defense we had last season. So we were filling the need of some defense. We have too many needs, but we got something at least. And lastly, because... Once again, when we traded down with the Patriots, we got their late pick. We got Brandon Myers from Iowa. He's a tight end, and uh, seems like he was a role player. But he got some decent catches. I remember watching him against Penn State during the uh, that game where they upset Penn State, and he made some decent catches out there. We'll see what the Raiders do. I know everyone says Al Davis is on drugs, and I might, you know, I might have been... I'm just mixed right now. I'm not sure what to think. I was mad we didn't get Crabtree Macklin, but we, I knew it was going to happen because we love speed, and that's all we really rely on is speed. All these guys, from what I hear, have a decent 40-yard dash, and that's pretty much what we're basing our pick on. It, it's a risk, but hey, risk, if you don't take risk, you can't succeed always. So I hope that this Hayward Bay guy is not a bust because I am partially worried of what we did. Uh, in other news, though, uh, I just think it's wrong how Kuiper was really just talking 
smack left and right about the Raiders, okay? You're supposed to be neutral, and you're hating the Raiders. Everyone's hating the Raiders, and fine. You can write on here in this comment box, and I'm fine. You can hate the Raiders. Not not, not me, necessarily, but definitely you can hate the Raiders, and that's fine. The uh, My thoughts, though, on the draft, we drafted for need in the late rounds, and I'm perfectly fine with who we got there, but I... I really felt that with in the first round we could have picked up another offensive lineman despite our offensive season moves. We needed an offensive tackle or a defensive lineman, whoever was talented, whether it was, could have been Monroe. But I I do that I think we could have taken that in the first round if we wanted to. And then in the second round grabbed Ramsey Barden, but he wasn't. So uh we'll see what happens. The Raiders possibly might have drafted some busts out there, but the guy I think he is Lewis Murphy because I, I think he can develop a little bit easier than Hayward Bay can. I hope uh, Hayward Bay, this guy knows how to catch later. I mean, we'll find out. It's got to all be settled on the field. This is not the BCS where we're ranked by our drafts. Okay, National Signing Day is overrated in some ways. It is. We we you need to sign people, but these rankings that ESPN has, it's terrible.